What's going on guys, Chase on Two Wheels here, and today we're going to be looking at this fighter pilot looking helmet that Icon just put out recently called the Air Flight. I guess it makes a lot of sense why they called it that if you describe it as a fighter pilot helmet. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll, we're getting to the point where I tell you guys about the helmet and I give you the review and what I think about it. But first off, I want to have a conversation about helmets and icon in general. So to start off, let's put whatever your feelings of Icon aside. I know they seem to be a pretty polarizing company here in this community. People seem to either love their gear or they're not fans of it. I personally think Icon makes a solid product for the price and being the heavily visual guy that I am, find that they make some of the best graphics for motorcycle gear in the industry. Now, conveniently, I have a helmet wall. I want you guys to look at some of the helmets I have from all over the spectrum of manufacturers and tell me something you notice. I'm sure you guys can tell this, but most helmet companies do the exact same thing. All the visors are almost identical. Meanwhile, you have Icon over here making things like the Variant and the Air Flight. It's nice to have at least one company in this gear game that's interested in trying new things out. Too many times, I notice in the motorcycle industry, companies just keep doing what they're doing and barely make any real changes. This happens over on the bike side as well. Now guys, I don't mean to rant, but as somebody that's as heavily invested in the motorcycle industry as I am, I have to appreciate a company that pushes outside of the boundaries like Icon is doing with the Air Flight when I see that. Very often, everybody just does what they've been doing because it works, and that makes the motorcycle industry boring at times. So I feel like if we really appreciate these companies that push boundaries, we'll get to see more boundaries pushed by other companies. But regardless, that's all I have to say on that topic. Let's continue on to checking out this Air Flight helmet. All right, so the Air Flight and its flight shield, which is what they call the main visor on the helmet. God, the naming convention. Icon, not bad. So guys, this thing has an injection molded carbonite shell, comes in at 3.79 pounds, and has a ton of different color options, as well as different visor options. I chose to go with a matte black helmet and one of their new orangey red reflective visors, which is gonna come in at a total cost of $300. There's just something about people not being able to see you when you're inside your helmet that I really like. The vents you see on the front are not there just for show, they do actually work as the front vents on the helmet. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool when you're purchasing your visor for this helmet, you have these little slots in it, looks really cool. Now as far as fitment goes on the helmet, it is going to come in at a long oval, which means it's going to be longer front to back than it is side to side. This is just something to keep in mind when you're looking up what size you need for the helmet. So the visor has a quick release, which is really nice to have, and the Air Flight also has a built-in drop-down visor, which I found really nice to have. Keep in mind, this is coming from somebody that doesn't have many helmets that can do that. I also feel like that drop-down visor gives it even more of this like fighter pilot look, I think, because I'm definitely not a fighter pilot. Inside the helmet, you're gonna see that Hydra Dry layer, which is gonna keep the helmet comfortable in warm weather when you're sweating. And it also has two oversized intake vents in the front to keep plenty of air flowing. On the safety front, the helmet is DOT and ECE certified, as well as these other certifications. And guys, I think that about rounds out all of the technical specs you guys need to know about the helmet. So we're gonna go jump on the motorcycle and I'm gonna tell you guys what I feel about the helmet after having it for the last couple months and riding with it. Daytona or Supermoto? Daytona. All right, you guys, so we're out here with the Air Flight helmet. Uh, we're on the highway just riding around, and I've had the helmet for a few weeks now. Got some time to test it out, and here's basically what I've gotten from riding around with it for a little while. Uh, first off, the airflow, phenomenal. So you guys can tell that the vents are in the front on as part of the visor. And uh, at first I was like, oh my god, there's so much air, but then I started worrying, well, what about winter time? I was worried that you couldn't shut this vent, but there's a little lever on the inside, you can shut it. I've got it shut right now, so there shouldn't be too much wind noise, but if I have that open, this thing shoots a ton of air into your face. You're going to have plenty of coolness going on. i also got two vents up at the top. I was actually surprised by how good the field of view is. Like, I literally cannot see any pieces of the helmet. Even this little middle area right here, I have to look for it to find it. And it's only this little black outline in my field of view. 
otherwise I can't see anything. I've got this perfectly unobstructed field of view, which is it's really nice in the helmet. As I said earlier, we are here on the highway. It is a windy day. You guys can see it's like hurricane season or something like that. So we got a lot of storms coming in. But uh, super windy day. We're currently going 86 miles an hour. And the aerodynamics on this thing, super solid. I can move my head all around. I can look up and down. I've got no hot spots where the wind catches at all. I've really got no complaints on the aerodynamic side. This is where it gets kind of weird though. The shield comes all the way down, right? We're going 80 miles an hour on the highway. I do not recommend doing this. The visor all the way up. Hopefully you can hear me. You got the visor all the way up and it does pull your face up. Obviously it's like a giant sailboat. Like if you uh, put the visor up. But as long as you do that when the speed is under about 50 miles an hour, you really don't have a problem. As long as you don't open it on the highway or open it and look up in the air, that would be stupid to do. I don't know why you would look up in the air, but if you did, you're going to feel a lot of drag from that visor. Just keep that in mind. I'm not really going to call that a real negative of the helmet because I can't really think of how many opportunities where I've been riding in a helmet and I'm like, man, I really, I really wish I could look straight into the air right now. It is something I wanted to note though, so you guys can know it if you're looking into getting this helmet potentially. But like right now, we're on the highway and I can put the visor up like this with no problem. Speaking of visors, it's got a drop down one. I've got the tinted drop down visor, but you can get any, uh, any type of visor you want. I think they've got clear, probably a yellow and then the black. I'm pretty sure that's the only internal drop down visors that they have, but when it comes to the main shields, something Icon does, in my personal opinion, better than any other motor motorcycle gear manufacturer is giving their uh, customers options for helmet, like paint colors and visor colors. The amount of color options, graphics options, and visor options that Icon puts out, especially with this air flight, it is insanity how many options you have. You can match your helmet and visor to your bike, to every, your other buddies, like whatever you want. It's, it's one of those really nice things about going with Icon if you're a, a fan of their gear. Something I will note about the drop down visor, I do like the placement of the little uh, the lever, I guess. And when you push it all the way down, the visor goes up and it locks in place. But something about when you push it up and the visor comes down, there's no locking mechanism that locks it down. Now I've never had it go up on me or anything like that, but it would be nice if it could lock all the way down and then also lock all the way up. Just a little caveat that I kind of wish it had, but it's not a deal breaker for the helmet by any means. Some people might not even use a drop down visor, but I gotta tell you, as a guy who doesn't really ride with a lot of helmets with drop down visors, having it's kind of cool. I get to open my uh, I get to open my visor up, my main shield. I can open it up, and I can still have like plenty of air and still cut the glare of the sun. It's it's something really nice. I'm not really used to it, but having it, I really like it. So guys, moving to the inside of the helmet. Um, this helmet, like many of the other helmets on the market right now, have that like super drying technology inside of it. And honestly, the inside of a helmet feels like a regular Icon helmet. You guys know I ride with a ton of different Icon helmets. And uh, it feels kind of average. It's not that premium you get with like a showy or something like that. But to be honest, I, I have one helmet with that level of premium feel inside the helmet. And that's the showy. I can say that I've ridden around with this helmet a decent amount in the middle of the day when it is super freaking hot outside. And I've never really had a problem with like sweating and, and all that kind of stuff so hydro dry or whatever they call it has to be doing a decent job i forgot uh to talk about some of uh wind noise helmet is solid it is definitely on the quieter side of helmets that i have ridden in even talking i feel muted i don't know if that's because it locks your ears away from your mouth or what but whatever it is does a good job muting my voice from my ears. 
So guys, coming to the end of this video, uh, I've had the helmet for a couple weeks now. For the price, you get cool stuff like a drop-down visor. You get plenty of options for how you want it to look and all that kind of stuff. Overall, it's a solid helmet. I really have dug uh, riding in the Aircon, Aircon, the Icon Air Flight. Uh, and I love the look. I love the different look you can get from it as compared to, you know, 90% of the other helmets out on the market. But anyway, I'm going to throw it back to Chase in the garage because he's probably got a better camera looking at him. And he will finish this video. So guys, overall, the Airflight is a phenomenal helmet in my personal opinion. And for coming in at $300 with the upgraded shield, the amount of customization options you have as far as colors, it has the drop down visor. With all of that stuff for that price, I can easily look past the kind of middle grade interior that the helmet has. And the showy that I was comparing this helmet to is over twice the price. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind. So if you're in the market for a helmet at around the $300 price point and you really give a care what your helmet looks like, it's gonna be kind of hard to beat that Icon Air Flight. If you guys wanna look into more information or if you're looking to purchase the helmet, I will leave links down below that you guys can use to purchase it. And if you use those links, it supports the channel. So big shout out to any of you guys that do that. Let me know in the comments if you use the link and you purchase the helmet. I will personally give you a high five emoji, probably. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. This has been a first fit of the Icon Air Flight. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If it helped you out at all, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're into motorcycles. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Outro crew, what have I told y'all? You have to go ride positive. It is a requirement in today's society. We need more positive role models. I appreciate you guys fighting the hard fight with me. Now I'm going to go in this in this little